Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Monday, February 14th, 2022. Time for you and me to get back to work. All right, people, let's talk. Right now, um, you know, let's start off with the market and what is going on. Stock futures are flat to slightly lower. The 10-year yield remains below 2%. The dollar right now, slightly higher. So what's the setup this morning? I would say some uncertainty in the market. Now, you know how much the market hates that. The market is like a twisted, demented child, and uh, it will act accordingly. So the driver this morning, there are a few, is I, this issue with Russia, Ukraine, which to me, really, is nothing more than a massive arms deal uh, globally, uh, is, you know, especially the United States, Russia, parts of Europe here, giving the excuse uh, you know, to borrow more cash in unbelievable amounts from the future to you know, fuel the war machine, uh, to keep cash being borrowed from the future in epic sums to keep the debt-based system going, that's all this is, all right? It's a game. And even if there were some kind of breakout of military activity over there, that would even give them a bigger excuse to borrow more, to start some kind of new arms race. That's, it's always the same. Look, the world is a freaking chessboard, and uh, it's being run that way. It's always been that way. And it's just not going to stop. You know, while we're on the topic of, 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 of things that are never what they seem to be, I want to explain something to all of you real quick. How many of you bought, really, I really want to hear from you. How many of you bought the idea that the world, and especially here in the United States, was making some kind of move to a... Uh, socialistic society that wealth was going to be redistributed to you know the have nots uh i never bought that story but that was sold to you during the election and, and i know a lot of you bought it but what you must understand is you were duped you were lied to yet again because the wealth never goes that way it always goes higher to the one and two percenters. I don't care if it's a freaking, this idiot sitting behind the Resolute desk or this other moron sitting behind the Resolute desk. They just sell you a story. People buy it, and of course, they follow along like the sheep that they are. But this was never, ever about socialism. This was about a consolidation of power and moving wealth right up as it always is. So did you buy that story? I know a lot of you did. And it's sad because again, you got to keep your eyes on the ball. And it's, it's so simple to do when, when the mainstream propaganda ministries or one of our puppet politicians is trying to tell you to look in one direction. So I don't care how much you must, you might love that person and think they're the greatest thing the gods send. Okay. Uh, no, you're being duped. You look in the opposite direction, and that's where the truth is. Anyway, that's what's going on here as well. Nothing ever is what it seems to be on the political stage. It's always some kind of other thing going on. And once you understand that, yet again, your whole thought process is going to change. I don't know, people. Um, anyway, let's move forward. So apparently there's some kind of a slight de-escalation with regard to Ukraine, Russia, Lavrov, that other freak uh, over there talking about, okay, you know, maybe, you know, we're going to go the diplomatic route. Who really knows what the hell is going on? But I sincerely believe, like I just said, this is a massive arms deal in disguise, period, the end, no matter how it goes. I think you would agree. Okay. Let us move forward. So on the back of all this, like I said, market doesn't look like too much is going to go on. 10-year yield. There may be a little bit of uncertainty. I'm not even saying a fear trade yet. Maybe it'll play out that way. Let's see. I told all of you yesterday in my markets a look ahead video. In fact, I outlined in detail 
If you're nervous about this, what's going on, if you're concerned about a shock to your portfolio, if you're not already hedged, which you should be um, anyway, uh, I outlined how to do it uh, in a very, very easy, simple way to take out a little insurance on your portfolio. So if you have not seen the video I did yesterday, my markets and look ahead uh, to hedge it, I would strongly suggest that you you go check that out. As a matter of fact, I will place a link to that video in the description of this video. I think it's very important. All right, what else is going on? Crude oil is under a little pressure right now on the back of whatever, you know, uh, <laughs> nonsense they're flinging at us now. It's all shit. And I told you if shit could fly, well, it would be a freaking miracle, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, so apparently, you know, because this Lavrov guy is saying, oh, yeah, you know, maybe we're going to talk. It's, uh, you know, at least for now, uh, a little relief with regard to crude oil. But I also believe this, people. We are on the cusp of a super spike with regard to global energy. What better way for them to cover up inflation? Again, look, they need a scapegoat. We heard from Federal Reserve President Bullshit Bullard uh, this morning on CNBC. And uh, he's explaining, oh yeah, the Fed's got to be aggressive because we really want to fight inflation. Let me explain this again for the millionth time. They couldn't care less about inflation. But what they are looking for is a scapegoat to blame inflation on. Because the Fed must seem like, you know, uh, blameless, all right? Nobody is pointing their fingers at the Federal Reserve, okay? Not our current freak president, the last freak president, the freak before them president. No, okay? These three presidents, more so than every single president before them, has called on the Federal Reserve to continue to inflate on a massive scale so they can do one thing, and that is push the stock market higher as the economy free falls. This current president doesn't really, you know, rah, rah, rah the stock market like the last guy, even though we've had record high, record high, record high. Do you realize that despite the fact that we are in an economic free fall around the world, debts and deficits ballooning, real wages cratering, the stock market today in aggregate, the, the major indices, is single percentage points away from new record highs. Oh, but the last freak, oh yeah, every freaking day, new record high for that stock market. Congratulations to all you rich and well-off people, while the rest of everybody else was getting sucked dry. Sucked dry. Oh yeah, he was another one selling the socialism lie. That was bullshit. It was all a move to push cash up higher. Don't listen to a damn... Look, if you believe in any one of these politicians, trust me on this one, your faith is in the wrong place. Anyway, gold and silver right now, especially silver, catching a very nice bid. Bitcoin around 42000 You know my take on that. Look, with regard to gold and silver and cryptocurrencies, we're holding these things for the debt market implosion. And people keep writing to me, oh, Greg, when do you think gold and silver is going to go higher? Greg, when do you think that Bitcoin and cryptos are going to double or triple in price? When? When we get the debt market meltdown. That's it, okay? We probably will stay in, well, with regard to cryptocurrencies, a very wide range because of the volatility. With regard to precious metals, count on JP Morgan continuing to rig it until the debt market implosion. Then all we're going to get is a move of move of cash in a freaking super tsunami from, from one set of assets into another. You all know this uh, better than anyone on the face of the freaking earth. Anyway, uh, I, I was writing some stuff down this morning, drinking my coffee here. Um, I think I covered really what I wanted to talk about. Look, keep your eye on a few things. Don't take your eyes off the ball, okay? D despite the propaganda and the lies and the fakery from our politicians, all of them, bad complexions, bad hairdos, the current retard president we have, they're not on your side and they don't work for you. I don't care how much you might, might believe in them, you, you praise them, you praying for them to get behind the Resolute Desk yet again, it won't help you. There's no way, okay? If you think they are the government or they have any say-so in what's happening, you really have been duped on a massive scale. It's the central banks pulling the strings. They're the puppet masters. Everything else just is a shit show, and I think you all know that. Um, 
Anyway, people, keep your eye on the MMRI today. Let's see what happens with that. Again, if you notice, Friday sell-off and even Thursday. Well, Thursday we had a little bump. Friday it came down. Risk in the market is is, is dropping. And, um, you know, let's keep our eye on the other freak show. This whole this whole arms deal in disguise. That's all this is. That's all it is. It's, it's a mechanism to borrow God knows how many more trillions of dollars into existence. Uh, that's all it is. To keep the people in check. Make them afraid. Make them very afraid. And then do some of the nefarious thing on the other side. That's why you never, never take your eyes off the ball. All right, people, look, we got this covered no matter what. Um, and, well, I'm happy to say that. So you know what's going on. You know what to do about it. And, uh, well, let's just get on with our freaking business. Let them play their games. Like I always tell you, this whole global chessboard freak show, they can't play this game better than we can. Because we know exactly what they're doing. We know what they're working towards, the end game, the goal here. And, uh, well, with that in mind, <laughs> how can we possibly be beaten? It's impossible. Like I told you, we're freaking invincible. I love all of you. I mean that. Please share the video. Very important stuff here. I'll see you later.